Hi, and welcome back to Dorky Docs. This week, we're going to run through stroke assessment and management. This, without saying, is an extremely important pathology not to miss in the community, and does seldom come through with triage and non-specific symptoms. Having structured assessment and management method is essential in treating this. The FAST screening tool is a fantastic public screening tool with a good predictive value. However, clinically, we can use the Rosier score. This is a simple points-based system where a new acute onset of either unilateral facial weakness, arm weakness, leg weakness, speech change, or a new visual field defect scores you one point, where anything above one is considered query stroke. The presence of a seizure or a loss of consciousness removes one point, with first-line investigations being a plain CT scan. Acute stroke management, however, depends on a number of factors, not least the type of stroke involved. However, initial monitoring of glucose, fluid status and oxygenation should be kept physiologically normal, with blood pressure being kept stable and not aggressively lowered, unless there are suggestions of a hypertensive crisis occurring. Aspirin 300 should be given urgently once a hemorrhagic stroke is excluded, and regarding anticoagulation, if needed, this usually isn't started until two weeks after an ischemic stroke to prevent any hemorrhagic transformation. Similarly, lipid management, or statins, are usually started at least 48 hours later to prevent similar complications. Now the mainstay of questioning will be in relation to reversal management, such as thrombolysis. Thrombolytic agents are usually only given if within 4.5 hours of acute onset of symptoms and if a hemorrhagic stroke is excluded. There are a number of contraindications which you need to be aware of, which include severe hypertension, esophageal varices, seizures, previous intracranial bleeds, subarachnoid hemorrhages, a stroke within the last three months, any active bleeding or current pregnancy. Guidance in 2019, however, was updated by NICE to offer mechanical thrombectomy, which has really shown positive results. It has opened up a longer window of treatment and depends on the time of presentation plus the location of insult. It's suggested that a thrombectomy should be offered within six hours of acute onset of symptoms, along with thrombolysis, if it's given within 4.5 hours, if a patient has had a proximal anterior circulation stroke, within 6 to 24 hours for an proximal anterior circulation stroke if there's suggestion of salvageable brain tissue, if there is evidence of such on CT perfusion scans or MRI, or within 24 hours of a proximal posterior circulation stroke if there's salvageable tissues as above. In terms of stroke secondary prevention, NICE recommend clopidogrel 75mg as a sole agent, but aspirin and dipyramidal are second line. Carotid end arteriectomies are usually performed only if there's 70% stenosis in the carotid artery. Moving on to TIAs. This is basically a transient neurological dysfunction that is classically known as a mini-stroke. And in terms of assessment, you need to know about the ABCD2 criteria, where age, if above 60, scores you one point, if blood pressure is above 140, 90, scores you one point, if there's clinical features of isolated speech disturbance or weakness that scores one or two points respectively. If it's up to one hour of symptoms that will score you one point and if it's more than an hour that will typically score you two points. Anything less than 10 minutes tends not to score anything and a previous medical history of diabetes scores one. Once confirmed aspirin 300 milligrams can be given if there's no contraindications and if the patient is found to have more than one TIA in 24 hours they are often immediately admitted for investigations. If a patient is thought to have a TIA in the last week, they need to be seen by a specialist within the next 24 hours as an urgent case. And if the TIA happened more than a week ago, then they should be seen within a week. Secondary management to TIAs include asthma stroke, clopidogrel 75mg or aspirin and dipyramidol if it's contraindicated, carotid endarterectomies as per stroke management if there's 70% stenosis in the carotid arteries, and patients often have echoes, 24-hour tapes, carotid ultrasounds and MRIs to assess for further investigations. And that's a wrap. I hope stroke and TIA assessment and management is more understandable for your clinical work and exam prep. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you like the video and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. But otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.